गुड मॉर्निंग एंड जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सूर्यवली सिंह फ्रॉम महामना मालवी इंटर कॉलेज बच्चा वाराणसी स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर दैट इज कॉम्प्रीहेंशन एक्सरसाइज वाट इट इज कॉम्प्रीहेंशन एक्सरसाइज comprehension exercises remember comprehension exercises what is comprehension comprehension when we heard about the word comprehension exercise so the first thing which we comes our mind is what is comprehension students remember the word comprehension comes from comprehend comprehension word comes from comprehend comprehend which means which means to understand remember the word comprehension comes from the word comprehend which means to understand comprehend is verb and comprehension is noun comprehend is verb and comprehension is noun so comprehend comprehension exercise students remember when somebody asked about a comprehension exercise actually he wants to know he wants to find out the understanding level of his students he wants to check your iq level he wants to know your creative skill your innovative skill to what extent you have understand about a particular stanza or passages that shows comprehension exercise that shows in comprehension exercise that is why comprehension exercise is being asked in your exam actually when we study when we read any poem or prose or any story so what we understand from that particular stanza what we understand from the particular poem or prose or story that is that is find out by comprehension questions remember when we start solving comprehension questions we should think we should remember some important points what are those important points we will study and we will see in today's lecture comprehension exercise remember as i have told you the word comprehension is comes from comprehend which means to understand when we start answering questions or when we start solving comprehension exercise so what we should do first we should read the stanzas or passages two or three times or you can say until you understand it properly some students can understand it in one time some students can 
understand it in two times and some of those understand it in three times as well. It depends on IQ level. So, read the stanza, read the passage until you understand it properly. And the second thing is what is the concept of the stanza? What is the theme? What is the gist of the poem? Or what is the theme of the prose or particular stanza or passage that we should find out? So what we should do? First thing is read it two or three times the second point is what is the theme of the passive or stanza theme of the stanza And third point we should keep in our mind answer the questions according to the tense of the questions. Answer the questions according to the tense of the questions. What it means? It means if the question is being asked in present tense, then we should answer it in present tense. If the question is being asked in past tense, so we should answer the question in past tense. If the question is being asked in future tense, then we should answer it in future tense. That is very important thing. Answer the questions according to the tense of questions. Answer the questions according to the tense of questions. Answer the questions according to the tense of questions. Tense of questions. So, students. When we do comprehension exercise, one more thing that we should keep in mind that if there are some hard words in the stanza or passage that we don't know what is the exact meaning of that particular word, that we, then what you do? You should try to understand the concept of the particular lines and how you know it you can know it by reading the stanza again and again So students, remember these points and one more thing you can do, try to answer the questions in your own word. Don't try to be, answer, don't try to be over smart or don't try to write it according to the book. You can write your answer in your own word. So, I hope you understand 
these points let's take an example of your textbook for example we can take an example take an stanza of your textbook remember in your textbook there is a poem childhood childhood and who is the composer of the poem the poem is composed by marcus natter marcus natter Marcus Nagel For example we can see just a small stanza When in my childhood go Was the day was it the day i ceased to be eleven was the time i realized that he had left could not be found in the copy could not be found in geography and therefore could not be was that day remember this is the example of your textbook child what is the title of the poem child and who has composed this one marcus natter first what you have to do read the poem silently read the poem silently read it in your mind i hope you read it for your convenience i will read it when did my childhood go was it the day i ceased to be eleven was it the time i realized that helen payment could not be found in geography and therefore could not be was the thing let's read it again When did my childhood go? Was the day I ceased to be eleven? 
was the day what what was in the time i realized that helen keller could not be found in geography and therefore could not be was that the day students suppose you have got this is tensor read it how many times two or three times or you can say until you understand it clearly properly suppose you understand the point the concept of point and if you feel there are some hard word there are some words that you don't know what is the exact meaning of particular words then what you have to do just Read it again and again. Then you can get the concept of that word. And now we will see what kind of questions can be asked. What kind of questions can be asked? What are the questions that is based on this stanza? And how? We will solve it. Remember the first questions that can be asked: Which two stages of life have been explained by the poet in the in this poem? Which two stages of life? Question number one. Which two stages of life have been explained Which two stages of life have been explained by the Point in this point. Which two stages of life have been explained by the poet in this point? The second question is: Why does the poet feel that heaven and hell are not real place? Why does the poet feel? Question number second. Why does the poet feel that heaven and hell? Are not real place. Why does the poet feel? Why does the poet feel that heaven and hell are not real place? Why does the poet feel that heaven and hell are not real place? The third question is. What are the rhyming words? What are the rhyming words? And four the last questions would be like this: Who is? Uh, What is the title of the poem and who is poet? What is the title of the poem and Who is poet? Who 
who is the poet so students suppose you have got four questions based on that particular stanza the first question is what which two stanzas of life have been explained by the poet in this poem and second is what why does the poet feel that heaven and hell are not real place and third question is what are the rhyming words and fourth and last question is what is the title of the poem and who is the poet remember i hope you understand the stanza the theme of the stanza and now see the questions which two stanzas of life have been explained by the poet in this poem so you can write the answer like this childhood and adolescence are the two stages of life that has been discussed in this poem childhood and adolescence are the two stages of life that has been discussed in this poem and the second question why does the poet feel that heaven and hell are not real place if you see the lines then you can you can get the answer why does the poet feel that heaven and hell are not real place the poet feels that heaven and hell are not real place because heaven and hell are just a imaginary land these things cannot these things cannot be seen on the map this does not exist in geography this is just a imaginary this is just an imaginary land and now let's come to the third question that is what are the rhyming words remember what how you can find out rhyming words yes just read the two words together and if the both words are rhyming together then you can say there those are rhyming words and in this word in this stanza the rhyming words are 11 heaven geography b so you can write like this 11 and heaven geography and b are the rhyming words in this stanza now comes to the fourth question what is the title of the poem and who is the poet i hope you all know very well how you can write it what is the title of the poem childhood is the title of the poem and marcus natan is the poet childhood is how you can write childhood is the title of the poem and Mar marcus natan is the poet so students you can answer the questions like this and if you are finding a difficulty then just try to find out the lines which contains the answer of the questions and if you find if you find the lines then you can write the answers in your own words very easily and you will go the very important thing is that that is 
answer the questions according to the tense of the questions. So now we have seen what kind of questions. can be asked in comprehension exercise and if you and if you wanted to know more then you can see your textbook You can take some more examples of your textbook and uh, just read it again and again and try to answer the questions by your own. I hope you understand the chapters and if you are facing any problem are in difficulty then you can consult your subject teachers so that you can clear your doubts so students remember when you start writing comprehension question answer so keep in mind, don't be panic, just relax and read the, uh, read the stanza and read the questions and answer it. I hope you all have enjoyed the class. Note, please. Note, note all these things what we have discussed in these lectures. I hope you all have understand the concept. Thank you and Jai Hind.